Hi, welcome to Roller. I'm going to suggest a towel today because we're going to be sitting on the end of our roller, which can be hard on everybody's tailbone. So if you have a towel around, you want to add it to your equipment for today before we come on down. All right, we're going to work face down today. We're going to work the front of the legs. And of course, working the front of the legs releases the hips and the back and it helps open up the pelvis. So it's a really nice workout. So it takes a setup of putting our mat in front, a roller between us and the mat, and we're going to lower our bodies. Now, last week we did everything, so this will be, uh, you know, a more focused version of the little bit that we did. All right, so we're going to keep our um, bodies facing down, our belly buttons, our spine, our eyes out on the floor, our thumbs to the ceiling. Don't rip your arms. That's one of the things that people do a lot. So rock back and forth. All right. So you're rolling over those legs. Slight point in the foot will keep them more um, directed, more aligned. So if you let release them, they're gonna probably fall out to the side. You should be about sit bone width apart at this point. We're gonna take three widths. So we're gonna go sit bone, hip, hip width, and then we're gonna go into our Y triangle. So back and forth, you're breathing. It feels really easy and good, right? Nice. So we're going to uh, flex one leg. So bring it up and down. Not the foot, the leg. So that means we're lifting and lowering. Three. Nice. Four. Make sure you do full range of motion. Five. Good job. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice. Nine. Perfect. And leave the leg up there on ten. And let's add ten more. Two. Slowing it down so you get full range of motion. Three. There's no uh, extra motion here. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now hold it in the middle. Just hold it in the middle of that thigh. Keep that foot up there a little bit pointed. Don't forget to keep your uh, shoulders released and your arms released. Now drop that leg over and let's go up and down again. One, two, we're doing tens today instead of eights because I really want to go into it. Three, and I'm adding extra two doesn't feel like much. Four, try to get as far down to the knee as you can. Five, good. Six, seven, as long as it feels safe. Eight, nine, good job, and 10. Bring that leg back up. And now you're gonna pump again, but this time just from 90 to the glute. So it's push, two, three, I know it's shorter range of motion, four, but we'll fix that in a second, five, six, push it, seven, really getting into that glute, eight, stay off those shoulders, nine, and 10, push it as close to the glute as possible. Do full range of motion. Three, good. Four, perfect. Five, really push. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now hold it in the middle, drop it over and just it's above the knee now, just let it sit there. Just feel the rotation, don't move it yet. I want you to just feel the stretch of that hip over. Let's go, now we've got 10. One, two, three, four, really push it over there. Five, perfect, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. All right, bring that leg down. We're gonna do just four in the middle. One, two, three, and four. Let's pump that other leg to 90 degrees. One, two, that means your foot is right over your knee when it comes up. Three, four, five, Pull that belly in, six, I know gravity wants to win. Seven, good job. Eight, 
nine, you got it. And 10, hold it in that middle, just hold it there. Good job. Bring it up and down. One, two, nice. I'm slowing you down. Three, one full range of motion. Four, five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, and 10, drop it over. Just hold it. And now 10. One, two, three, four. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Five, six, seven. Good job. Eight, nice. Nine, and 10. All right. So now we're going to push it. We're going to do the flexing to the glute as we go up and down. One, two, three, four, flex it or push it, but don't throw it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it there. Go up and down for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drop it over. Let it hold for a second. All right, let's take it up now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 10 and bring it down. Now, I want you to take your hands under your shoulders, sit back into child pose, put your hands on the roller, take it out as you sit back, bring it in as you come up. So releasing the shoulders before we go on to the next part, sit back, release it to the fingertips, sit back, release it to the fingertips. Last one, sit back. Release it to the fingertips. Now, widen those legs, just a hip width apart. So it's not all the way to our big V, okay? We're coming all the way down, back onto our elbows, onto our mat. So your legs are a little bit more open. All right, we're gonna go up and down for 10. One, all right, shoulder blades down, head over tailbone. Two, thumbs to the ceiling. Three, full range of motion. Four, five, Pull that belly in. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to pump both legs. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Six, seven, eight. Good, nine, and 10, leave them both up. Up and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, put the feet together and keep going. One, two, three. Come on, lift your body off your shoulders. Four, make sure your feet are over your uh, knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, Straighten them out, put one leg long, take the other one up, scoot it on the um, roller so your knee is facing the end. It's a small range of motions, just the inner thigh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch out. One, two, three, Four, 
five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, coming off, we're going to do the upper body again, and then we're going to do the really wide leg. So push back. Sit back there and let it, let it release, let it release. And then come up onto your fingertips, take it back. Push, push, push. Onto your fingertips, nice. Take it back. <clears throat> onto your fingertips and one more, take it back. <clears throat> All right, here's where we get super wide. So this is our big wide leg. The leg's gonna turn out slightly. We're gonna get a lot of the inner thigh. Walk it forward, wide leg. Here we go, one. Now leg feels longer too, doesn't it? Two, three, four, good, five, six, nice, seven, eight, beautiful, nine, and 10, bring one leg to tabletop, one at 90 degrees, two, we're gonna do the same uh, positions that we did on the first set, four, the um, sit one with apart, six, seven, eight, without the pumps, nine, and 10, drop it inside, it's right below the knee, one, Getting that inner thigh, two, so nice, three, four, five, six, oh my goodness, seven, eight, nine, and ten, bring it up, tighten it to the glute, one, I not feel much, like much, two, now, if this hurts your knee, three, keep it at 95, four, because this is a very open knee. Five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, and 10, drop it over, it's above the knee now. Let's get it done. One, two, three, four, beautiful, five, you are amazing. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, right at 90 degrees. One, mine drops in a little bit. I have to keep, you know, getting it. Two, three, my foot over my knee. Four, five, you're doing great. Six, seven, good job. Eight, nine, and ten. Drop it down. It's below the knee. Let's go. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, tight to the glute, one, two, straighten that up, three, four, five, six, seven, good job, eight, nine, and ten, drop it above the knee if you can, you got it, you're almost there, good, I love it. Five more. Good. Breathing. That's it. And lower it down. All right, come on back. <clears throat> Again, sit back in child pose. This time we're not gonna use the roller. We're just gonna turn ourselves in firm and do upper body. We don't have to get any of the, you know, tightness that we kind of put into our bodies while we're trying to get such good form there. Make sure you lift your body up, wrap your arms tight around your head. And we're going up and down the back. I want to go super slow to begin. So up and down. Make sure you do really deep breathing. 
put a lot of that love into that body. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on the shoulders a little bit in a minute. And just depending on them for support. Now stop below your shoulder blades, tilt to one side. All right, up and down. Six degrees. Just right on that shoulder blade to that shoulder. Three. Yeah, nice and slow. Four. Five. And number six. Come back to the center, do four. Yeah, this feels good. My off camera almost. All right, let's get under the shoulder blades. We tilt to the other side. Four, five, and a six. Bring yourself back to center. Now we're going to go a little quicker up and down the back to get that kind of chiropractic effect where the, the um, vertebrae try to follow, follow each other in line. Yep. Here we go. Come on. Now we're going to do the neck. All right, so starting at the bottom. Come on up, tilt your head back. Let the roller fall between your shoulders and your skull. Let it sit inside that cervical curve. Look behind you. Really push down. Looking behind you really helps get that curve in. And then come back to the shoulders and just sit on top of them and come all the way down. Two more times. Curl it up. Lift it back. Look behind you. Let it sit in that cervical curve, tighten those arms, and then that, those shoulders big and wide. Come down to the shoulders, right there, the rear delts, push on them, and then bring it back down, last one. Woo. Take it up, sit back, and push. Oh, I love this. And onto the shoulders and up and down eight more times, and we're going to be done. Two, three, oh, crap, crap, four, five, six, nice, pull that belly in, seven, and eight. All right, lower your glutes, hands above your eyes. You lift up, reach up, reach up, reach up. Our shoulders back four times and then forward. All right, so now we're going to set our roller up for Pilates, which means that you're we're going to do an alignment press, but your roller is going to be beside your um, mat. And for this, I'm going a little diagonal. You only need to do some, but bring your towel nearby because you're going to need that soon. But let's start with the alignment. Start with your head over your tailbone. Curl yourself all the way down. Extend your body all the way up. Really reach it out. Put your arms at your side. Wrap them around. Now remember, we're going to do these two minutes. These two minutes could be deep breathing up and down the spinal canal. It could be light breathing to, to settle down your nervous system. It can be, what else can be? Into the belly, up to the chest, and vice versa. And you can divide it. So starting now, you pick it. I'll tell you when you have it. gone to a minute in case you want to change. Eyes open for balance. Eyes closed for rest. Make sure you push those arms really close to the roller. Good. I don't like to talk too much during this part in case you're going for that quiet nervous system stuff, but you're 30 seconds.
one minute. Last 20 seconds. Okay, I'd like to slide off so that we can do the setup for the next part. Call yourself up. If you're putting a towel on the end of your roller, this is the time to do it. Don't make it too thick. I want you to just take it to the half. Thank you, Terry. The half. Over the end, right? And we're going to sit on the end of that roller. Your head in front of you, shoulders over your tailbone, your head over your tailbone, shoulders in alignment with your hips, right? Just get that stance and coming back for four. Arms are up in front of our eyes. Come back one, two, three, and four. And hold it right here. Pull that belly button to your spine. Just really stay on top of it. We're just warming up for the more difficult stuff ahead. Drop those shoulder blades. Be nice and strong. You want to feel that core attachment here. Just really, this is a place where the core just should automatically be taking over. It shouldn't be like making your arms stiff or you know tightening your shoulders. This is where the core needs to go in. So inhale and exhale and bring it back up. So we're going to take our arms a little higher this time. When we're here. We're going to bring it up here, right above our eyes. But wait for the cue. All right, arms come up. Come back. One, two, three, four. You see how this creates a different weight in your body? So you really have to pull that transverse abdominal in to keep that weight, higher arm, keep that weight um, balanced. All right, breathe. <clears throat> Feel my lats and my back. Good. Okay, inhale and exhale and bring it up. Let's take a rotation to one side. And then a rotation to the other. Okay, now we bring it back to our eyes, come back one and two. Take, we're gonna take this one, one leg off the floor and just hold 20 seconds. You can do it. That's the work. Now we're not as far back as we were before. Go ahead, breathe into it. Four seconds, feeling the weight in my hip. And then inhale and exhale and bring it up. And I say I'm gonna give you a break between each side. Okay, we're gonna go back to the other side of the pose. Push it into the camera for a little bit. All right, arms are back here. Come back one and two. Take the other foot off the floor, 20 seconds. So, of course, you're going to have one side that's more balanced than the other. That's because we're not robots. Oh boy, that came fast. Begin to have an exhale and bring it back up. Now, I'm going to take the arm element out. I'm going to put you into genie. It's your hands are crossed. On one hand on top of the other, drop this out. Take it back one and two. Take the leg up, push it out, and in for ten. One, two, three, four, five. Release that other leg. Don't push it into the floor. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower. Release the arms down. Let them swing. Now, the one of the things that's happening here is instead of this big opening tripod feeling. 
it helps balance us when we tighten it and it's a little bit harder to balance. So let's do GV on the other side. So switch the arms, come back one and two, leg off the floor, one, two, three, right here in the center, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lower down and bring yourself back up and get to it. Nice. Now we're going to do it with a rotation. You ready for that? DV again. So my arms are this way the first time. Come back one and two. Rotate your upper body and leg off the floor. Push out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower it down. And release those arms. Good. Switch them. Come back. One, two. Turn. Lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Center and bring it back. All right. We're going to do a little bit of a forward fold. We've got one more set to go and then we're done. It's going to be rotation and a side opening. It's going to be a lot harder. This way. Come back. One and two. Rotation. Other way. Goes out in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rotate. Eight, nine, and ten. Center. Bring yourself up. Your arm swing. And then switch. Come back one and two, rotate, arms go up, one, two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down, bring it back to center. And one more time with the twist. Put your hand on the roller and bring yourself around in one direction. Lift and breathe into it. In back, in, inhale, and exhale back to the other side. And let's curl ourselves all the way down to the roller. If your mat isn't thick, it shouldn't make a difference. But if you want it, lift up and take it off. Right, just roll side to side. The shoulder blade. And then we we'll get back to the center. Right, we're just going to do a quick set of ad adductors, adductors, and that's what I wrote out today. So let's go to tabletop and out in for 21. Two, three, arms to the ceiling. Arms kind of twisted on your floor. I don't want you to depend on your arms to hold you up. Six, I really want you to do the battle. Seven, or at least practice it. Eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and hold it out on 28, nine, and hold it here, push it out, one, two, three, four, back to tabletop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, out, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them together. Put your feet down. Cross one leg over the other. So let it cross and stretch. And then take the other leg over the opposite. If you're down, you sit together through the heart. Okay. Oh. All right. One more. 
One hand down, the other hand behind your head. Your feet are in um, the number four position. You're on your toe. You're going to bring it up and one. Only ten on each side. Two, three, four, five. You don't go down. You just go to center. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One. Get on your toe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring yourself down to the mat. Breathe. And again. And uh, uh, let your body open up. Nice One leg comes up, the other leg comes up, one leg comes down, the other leg goes away. You can massage your groin muscle for extra uh, extension. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower and hold it right there. Point those toes. We're just going to breathe right into it. Only point. Now, hand on the foot, bring it down. I love this one. Side baby pose thing. That's that hip. Pillars toes extension. And then we'll bring that leg back up and try to take it down three more times. Big inhale and exhale lower. See it moves. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower and hold it right there. Okay. Relax. So, bring the back leg up to the center. Both legs are pointed. Both legs are flexed. Both legs are pointed. Bring that straddle. Both legs are flexed. Both legs are pointed, both legs are flexed, and then you go into a very deep turn up using your arms if you need to to get your legs going into that rotation. Keep that bottom leg down toward your face or toward your ear and push through there. And put your hand on it again and bring it down with that lower leg rotated up. So you're going to go rotate a happy baby pose. Okay, so a little bit more in the thigh, wrapping around the knee. Release it, push it back up. Point the feet, rotate them inward. Center them, flex the front, point the back, and switch, and switch, and switch. Take the leg out to the side, lower the opposite leg, and push into the thigh. Okay, flip your hand off, bring it across into your spinal twist. Do you hang on to that roller so you can get stretchy here as you can? Inhale and exhale, bring them both back up, and then we switch sides. Big inhale and exhale lower, big inhale and exhale lower, big inhale and exhale lower, hold it right there. Point. Breathe. Really reach. 
it's all she had brain muscle if you wanted to. Yes. All right, let's go into our half Bring into it. I feel like the opening of the spine and pelvic area, and then the back we go around the hips. Awesome. We take it up. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. We can get this one more little push, other 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Working that other way. Beautiful. Bring that other leg up. Beautiful, beautiful. Point both legs. Relax both legs. Point both legs. Relax both legs. Point your flex. And you do it. Spread out. I have to go really push up this one. We don't feel it. Don't feel that rotation. Beautiful. And then we're going to take that and go up and close in that rotation. Now we're up. Beautiful. Just keep pushing. This is not static. This is dynamic, even though you're staying in one place. We're actually putting muscles as often. Really moving them from their slow to their spine. All right, push it up. Point both feet, rotate them back in. Flex the back, point the front, down the switch, down the switch, down the switch, down the switch, lower that other leg, take your working leg up. And then take it across, holding onto your roller. And then bring it back up. Here we are. Point both feet, rotate them out. Just pull it up through the front. And then Relax them. Just hold it right there. Really pull up. Now I want you to rotate all the way around so that the toes touch. Blitz today. And then point them up into that inward rotation. And then straighten them out and take it out to the knee. Soften your legs a little bit and then extend them into a point. Soften them again and extend them into the point. Now let's go. Swing. Loosening everything up. Perfect. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let them move until they're done. Yeah. And those knees. Remember eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One leg to tabletop, the other leg to table. Floor and floor. Lift up. Stay in that lift and start at the heart. Lower down to the mid back. The lumbar, the glutes, the bottom of the feet together. Arms at your side. Deep breathing. Close the knees, bring yourself over, and bring yourself up. Let's run in a weird kind of way. Let's roll our shoulders back over times. And forward, forward. 
and let's breathe it front and back. Four times. Changing the position of our arms. And last time, and bring it down. Thank you for coming. It's a roller. I don't know what to call this one. Oh, the front release series. 